I'm Darren with Action Esports, and welcome back to another installment of Action Recap, the show where we highlight various stories ongoing within the esports community. To start things off today, the Houston Outlaws have officially announced the addition of Russell Fact Fiction Campbell to the team. Despite revealing the signing during the mid-stage break, they weren't able to field the player as his paperwork was still being processed by the Overwatch League. However, they've still been using him during scrims to help integrate him into the team. Fact Fiction joins the Outlaws during an ideal time for his skills to shine as someone known for their Winston and Reinhardt play. Given how the pro meta is shifting back towards running 3-4 tanks, coupled with some pocket healers on certain maps. The Overwatch League player's signing window opened up on January 22nd and closed the start of Stage 2 on February 21st, so whether or not new additions to the league such as Gambler, Geguri, and Fact Fiction will be able to compete at this stage will depend on when the paperwork was submitted to Blizzard for approval of their contract. Teams that feel they might be underperforming could look for answers in the next free agency period, but those who want immediate changes are still able to conduct player trades as seen with Rascal and Fissure up until the roster lock date for the rest of the season on April 3rd. Now for our next story of the day. Brigitte has been leaked as Overwatch's 27th hero. Now, we've had a handful of teasers from Blizzard pertaining to the backstory of Tobiorn and Reinhardt, with mentions of Brigitte in addition to images of armament blueprints similar in design to something that Brigitte would create. While Blizzard may be continuing the teasers with the latest tweet of a tower shield bearing a lion boss similar to Reinhardt's, most doubt, including that of our own, was dispelled this morning after a leak by Blizzard's Japanese Overwatch Twitter account. It seems that in a happy accident, the person managing the Japanese Overwatch Twitter tweeted out the file name titled as Brigitte Teaser No. 3 Monday for the latest shield teaser instead of the actual image. Additionally, some intrepid members of the community began inspecting the images of the teasers from last week and discovered on the Brazilian Overwatch page that the mission report from Ana had the alt tag of Brigitte Teaser After Action Report. Similar to the Doomfist Error Report leak last summer, this looks like another case where the developer who designed software didn't consider that there could could be sensitive information in the name of the image. The leaks are always good to help feed the curiosity of the community, but hopefully no one got fired. As for Brigitte, we were already given two weeks worth of teasers and looking at the hero release timeline, it's likely to expect an official release sometime next month, as that was around the same time we had Orisa in 2017. What do you guys think of the possibility of Brigitte being the next hero? Do you think her playstyle might entail lost concepts that Torbjorn might have had, like the wall climb? Or perhaps she might just be a simple off tank or support? We had love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. In other news, at long last, one of the world's largest football clubs, FC Barcelona, have entered the world of esports and will be participating in the Pro Evolution Soccer League hosted by eFootball.pro and Konami. According to eFootball.pro, the Catalonian-based team is just one of many more exciting team announcements they have in store. Work on this football esports league began last year with Konami, the same company responsible for Yu-Gi-Oh!, Metal Gear Solid, and at one time, Silent Hill. In the press release, FC Barcelona Vice President of Marketing and Media Manel Aro stated, quote, Barca is attentive to what is happening in this global and technological world, and given the major penetration and growth of esports, it's on the path to also becoming a leader in this field. FC Barcelona, in keeping with its innovative spirit, has decided to participate in a pioneering competition in the world of esports, alongside the finest partners Konami and eFootball.pro. Lastly, in League of Legends news, Riot Games have announced that the world's reigning region and mecca of esports, South Korea, would play host to the 2018 League of Legends World Championship. Additionally, Riot have also released the full schedule for the remainder of their international events for 2018 with the mid-season Invitational taking place across Germany and France in May, Rift Rivals hosted in July across five different countries, and the All-Star event in the United States in December. And with that, that's all for this installment of Action Recap. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, check out some of our other videos. And if you have something to say and want to join in on the conversation, be sure to join our Discord server. Links to that and everything else mentioned in this video are in the description box below. This has been Darren with Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one.